there's a party going on. This Venezuelan neighborhood is turning out to celebrate an unusual form of art that they helped to create. It lines a street in the small town of Guatire, east of Caracas, and the revelers are trying to capture the moment. They are saluting this mural made entirely out of bottle caps. It's not simply about the bottle caps. It captures the true essence of Venezuelans. In this mural, the colors represent our diversity and the love that Venezuelans feel for their homeland. The bottle caps come in all colors and sizes. The mural covers 385 square meters. The design features flowers and macaws from South America, as well as traditional cultural and religious images. The mastermind behind the project is 26-year-old Venezuelan artist Oscar Olivares. He started using recycled materials in his work in 2020, and he claims this is the largest bottle cap mosaic in the world. I believe Venezuela is a star in the worldwide movement of ecological art. This means Venezuela is the country that has more murals with bottle caps than any other country in the world. And it's a movement of recycling and teamwork. There's no art to compare to it in the whole world. More than 300,000 plastic bottle caps were used here. But the message of this mural goes beyond an attractive piece of art just meant to be admired. It is also a collective effort by this community to save the planet. Residents say it's important the bottle caps used in the mural are recycled plastic that otherwise would have been discarded. I'm excited because many thousands of caps will not end up in the sea, polluting our beautiful seas, these beautiful gifts that God has given us. So far, Olivares has repurposed 850,000 plastic caps, spreading his work within Venezuela and also beyond its borders. In 2022 alone, he created five murals in cities across Venezuela, in addition to one in Mexico and another in Saudi Arabia. Now the eco mural is complete, but this is how it started. <laughs> After five months of planning, a graffiti-covered wall was painted to serve as a blank canvas. Then the artist outlined all the figures, but this was not a one-man job. 1,500 volunteers came to help. 45-year-old Laura Texeira lives in the neighborhood. She brought her daughters and a niece to take part on the project. This is our way to contribute to make our city more beautiful, to rescue a space, a white wall that was useless. They join in on the next step as volunteers started putting every plastic cap in its place. City workers join in too as people of all ages carefully glued the bottle caps onto the cement wall. Each square outlines every space that must be filled with bottle caps of different colors. Here is the top. We were assigned to do the bottom with pink and blue colors and we had to follow the patterns. Volunteer Osvaldo Garcia also came with his family and friends. Garcia says the mural has changed the entire neighborhood, making it stronger as everyone worked towards a common goal. The community gets integrated. Those from the sports community, the art community, and neighbors from the area. What we are doing here with this activity is to integrate the community. After 33 days of hard work, the eco mural is done. What was one an empty wall is now a colorful display of teamwork. 
and the people in Guatí are proud of the mural that show off part of their history and culture using disposable plastic. Literalmente estamos transformando. Literally, we are transforming trash into a work of art. Oscar Olivares hopes to lift his signature worldwide and keep inspiring other artists to offer both an eco-friendly message and a stunning work of art. Maritrini Mena for The Vibe, Caracas.